The time has come when I need to fit the mahogany parts to the top of the wooden base that I made. Welcome to part 20 of the Stuart Major Beam Engine Rebuild. These mahogany cappings on top of the wooden base are really important and they have to be fitted accurately. I've shown how I made these mahogany cappings in a previous episode, but this is actually sticking them down and it's vital they're stuck down in the right place. Here is a clip of some epoxy resin. This is two pack, five minute epoxy resin. But before I actually use this, it's most important to lift the bed plate, which allows me to move the mahogany part slightly to get it perfectly in line. I really do not need to go into detail about how to mix epoxy resin because the instructions are usually on the bottles. The speed at which this epoxy sets is generally down to the temperature of the room in which you're using it. So on a warmer day it's going to set a little quicker. Please be aware of this. And also the contents of one of the bottles is generally slightly more viscous than the other. So it takes a little bit longer to settle when you put them side by side on a board. Singularly the most important part of the process of course is the mixing. Mix thoroughly for at least a minute, maybe longer. And do it quickly because don't forget this is 5 minute epoxy and it will soon start to set. This is the adhesive I should really have bought in the first place to stick the bricks onto the wood, but anyway the Gorilla Glue did the trick in the end. In this clip I'm applying the epoxy resin to the underside of the mahogany. Make sure you get this right and don't apply it on the wrong side of the mahogany, otherwise you're going to have a problem. Also, never apply too much of this epoxy resin because once the piece of wood is in place, the weight of the bed plate will squeeze out any surplus and that will run down the brickwork and it will not look very good. And don't forget, you've only got five minutes to do this job, which is all you need really, it doesn't take long. As soon as you've spread the epoxy neatly on the surface, put the piece of wood in position and put some of the bolts back through the holes. Don't screw them all the way in because if the epoxy grabs them you'll find it quite difficult to screw them out again. In this clip I'm just checking with a piece of wood that there are no drips down the front of the brick and the fact that the piece of wood is exactly in the right position. Because what I did do before I fitted it that I forgot to video was I drilled the holes slightly larger, the holes in the mahogany, which allows me to move the mahogany to get it perfectly in line not only with the brickwork, which it overhangs anyway, but with the end pieces that will be fitted in a minute or two. At this point I'd normally say it's time to have a cup of tea, but no it isn't. Always keep your eye on this, because while you're having a cup of tea, some epoxy could ooze down the front of the brickwork. As a general rule, if you wipe your mixing stick over the epoxy on the mixing board, you'll see whether it's set or not. Turning the base around, you can then tackle the other side. Same principle. Lift up the bed plate at one side with a piece of packing at each end. Fit the other piece of mahogany using the same principle as you've just seen. You will have to be a little bit quicker fitting this other side because at the same time you're going to need to fit the two end pieces. Then it will look like this. The next step is to take some very coarse sandpaper and rub down the ends of the mahogany, being very careful not to rub too hard. It's just to get rid of any ridges. For the top part of the mahogany I will be using an orbital sander, but not just yet because I am going to use some cyanoacrylate adhesive to fill any slight gaps that may be present between the end pieces and the side pieces. I've covered the cyanoacrylate adhesive principle in quite a few videos when I've been making bases and things. And it's quite simple, you just fill the gap with some cyano, wipe off the surplus, and once you rub down the top, all the sandings from the wood fall into the gap, stick to the cyano and the gap is filled. It's a very simple way of filling gaps in wood. In a perfect world, taking great care, there should not be any gaps, but in reality there generally are. Only small ones, and they're easily filled using the cyanoacrylate adhesive principle. Well, it's nearly time to start putting this engine back together. There's a little bit more painting to do that I'm not going to show, which is basically second coats and bits and pieces. As you can see here, the two bearing blocks are in place, one on top of the pedestal, and I think this engine is going to work out very well and look really good. And also, hopefully by the time I finish with it, it's going to run equally well. Thanks for watching, I hope you found it useful.